Are you ready? Yeah. No, you're not. I'm ready for this. You're not, though. It's plugged in. It's on. You heard it. This is why I bring my guitars to Sean. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys and gals? My name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. What's going on, everybody? It's good to see you back. Now, every once in a while, one of you guys will reach out to me and ask me to repair your guitar for you. And if it's something I think I can do, and we can work out some kind of agreement to do it, I'll do it. So a feller named Roger the Wombat Aussie, or Roger the Aussie the Wombat, or something like that. Now, I don't know what that name's all about, or why he calls himself that, but he sent me this. And what this is, is a gig bag for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> No, it's one of them Garrett Les Pauls. Let's crack it open. This bag has a little bit of padding, but it's nothing like some of the ones I've seen lately. Now this is a nice looking guitar. And he said this is how he got it from the factory right here. We ain't playing this one unplugged first. You hear that? I don't know if you can see that ridiculous bow that's in this neck. Now this is a pretty looking guitar, I gotta admit. I don't know what kind of fretboard that is. But it's got those balled up fret ends. They're definitely uneven. You can see that one hanging over the edge. That one's not. Yeah, if you're gonna do that balled up fret end thing, you need to at least make them even, is what I'm thinking. And I don't know why they would tweak this truss rod so heavy that it had that bow in the neck. What do you know? It's a bolt-on. So basically, this is just a bad version of a Les Paul special, fellas. Let's just get that out of the way now. If you're buying a cheap guitar from China, and it's a bolt-on neck Les Paul copy, you're better off buying the Epiphone Les Paul special. I promise you are. This guitar is not better than that. Now hang on just a dang minute, Sean. You can't get no Epiphone Les Paul special with no dang P90s in it. It ain't coming all pretty with binding all over it. It just ain't gonna look like that. Yeah, you're right. And I bet you the strings ain't gonna be laying on the fretboard either. Yeah, it's not gonna have these super cheap tuners on it either. And I don't know what kind of fretboard that is, but I can promise you that's not rosewood. That's some kind of laminated wood, most likely. I'm willing to bet you that's a veneer on top of something. Yeah, it sure does look good, though. Now look, I'm going to tell you right now, I already don't like this guitar because of the way it came to Roger. Yeah, because he can't do the work that I'm fixing to do on this thing. And I don't even know if we can fix it. That neck might be toast. The only way to find out if we can fix it is to get it off that table, tear into it a little bit. But it ain't going to do it itself. So that's enough flip-flapping. Let's make it happen. We're going to get these strings off here. You ain't got to watch it. Now, I showed you the bow earlier. But do you see how crooked that neck is? Now, now you get it into perspective, don't you? Look at that. You see it? <laughs> Look how it just goes straight down. Let's see if we can fix that with the truss rod. Get this trash out of here. I don't know what that is. Go ahead and get it out though. Some kind of paper. Got some over here too. We're gonna need to go towards the wall, away from us. Should be anyway. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it'll flatten out at all. Well, I mean, that's pretty flat now. Just got a little bit of air there. I'm going to let this sit for a little while. All right, we're back. Now, before we do anything, this has been sitting about an hour and a half. With the truss rod maxed out the other way. Still had a slight bow, barely. But I'm going to push on this now. I'm going to push on it just a little bit. I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> but trust me. Yeah. 
aha now we got air here so I can let some of that tension off that rod sure can now that is a flat neck I like these screws. Look how far the threads are down. So this part can go through here without having to thread the body. That's good. I like those screws. It fell right out. It does not have the dreaded neck hole all the way through anyway. Yep, the dreaded neck hole don't go all the way through though. It's there. But that's mahogany, boys. And it really is. If I ever seen it, that's mahogany. Can you see the wood grain? It's obviously maple. Now here's something new I haven't seen before. They put a shim in here. You see it? And then they slop some paint over it to cover it up. But hey, if it makes it fit tight and you can't see it, what's wrong with that? And it is a pretty good fit for the neck with that little shim in there. It's weird to see this brand new guitar having oxidized frets on it. It's just weird. I guess it's been sitting in a warehouse somewhere for a while. Yes, yeah, sitting in a warehouse for a while could probably explain that neck boat too. But I have zero hope for these frets to be level. After that neck looking like that. Yeah, they're fried. They're all clacking. We got clackers, boys. All right, let's do it. This is a 14 inch radius. Yeah, needs extensive crown work. Good thing I got an automatic one, huh? <laughs> yep, you can still use it manual for those little spots you miss you want to get real good. Now to polish these bad boys up, we use a little bit of 1200 first. Just to remove any unnecessary scratches I might have missed. You guys know I love my Noxon. You should try this stuff if you haven't already. 
cleaner and prep. It's going to get all this stuff off. Watch. And it's alcohol based, so it dries really quickly. Yep, once you rub it off, it's done. Giggity. Boy, the brits are gleaming now, ain't they? Yes, is it gleaming now? You gotta do your deep conditioner after you do your cleaner. These things right here, probably the worst things money could buy. Now I'm just going to wallow these out past that paint a little bit. Try not to tear it out. almost blasphemy me putting these Grovers on this <laughs> cheap guitar, huh? But no, it's not a cheap guitar. It's a good neck and body. At least I think it is so far. What I'm doing right now is what makes your expensive guitar worth the money. <laughs> it is not the neck and the body. Not in this day and age, it ain't. Now Roger sent me this, but it's the wrong size. This is for an acoustic guitar. It's 42 millimeter. And this is 43. So we're gonna put this bone nut on it that I have already. Instead of the cheap plastic one back on it. This thing's shaping up a little bit. All right, let's check out the tailpiece first. Super loose, look at that. Thing is loose as a goose. Not a single marking anywhere. Nathaniel. But the bridge posts are just as tight as can be. Look at that. See what the bridge looks like. It's not so loose, man. It's not too bad. Not a single marking again. Yeah, those boogers are tight. Hey, man, guy. I think it's stupid how they mount these pickups. Why? Let's see what it is. It's mounted in there with those foam thingies, which I think is a good thing. I don't think that's bad by any means. These things are waxed good. They're going to be hard to come apart, so I ain't going to take them apart. They're screwed right into the body for sure. Nope. And again, no room for full size pots without rerouting this thing. You guys see that? See how close that little pot is to the wall? Let's see what kind of switch they got in here. Typical stuff. But that's a decent switch. Should last a while. I gotta get me a new red rubber band. I done broke that guy. <gasps> there went the white one. Oh no. We could still work it out. Trust me.
Yeah, if you use this trick, it's hard to screw this up. That's why I do it, because I'll surely screw it up without it. And you already know, every Les Paul style guitar gets this. Crying shame, you gotta grease your nuts up before you can play, huh? Ooh, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. And now, it's time to jam. Now, I didn't have high hopes for this guitar to start with. I gotta be totally honest with you. And I was wrong about that fretboard. That's real rosewood. Now, it's got some sweet action. It's all tuned up. Play it unplugged a little bit. Plays clean, don't it? Let's turn it up some. Okay, stop right there. Dude, did you hear this thing? Let's try the middle. Let's try the neck. about this guitar I think this guitar is rocking I was wrong this could definitely be better than a Les Paul special but I don't know about out of the box cuz see that's where I was making my earlier assessment was straight out of the box if you can't do the work that I just did yourself or you don't have somebody that can do it like I did for Roger man I highly recommend you steer clear of this brand and oh yeah don't forget we're live tonight that's February 3rd 2024 10 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, you heard me. Me and Kathy's gonna be live. And we really appreciate you watching. And until next time, or until I see you again, don't you touch my scar guitar. <laughs>